Oh there, it's Steve here in Sydney of the Lay Gnosis website, truebluehealer.com. Today I'm going to show you something which is very illustrative of a, a number of items, a, a constellation of items about the criminal overworld that rules us. One man's little victory over it, his name is Tony Rook, and how he did it in a very unexpected, um, crafty way. And I'm also going to show you evidence of psychopathic behavior directly beneath the video, okay? So, what we have here is, um, this man refused to pay his BBC TV license because he was able to convince a judge, of all people, uh, an, evidenced, an evidence processing judge, that um, the BBC was in fact a terrorist organization, and he details that in face-to-face -face discussion with the TV camera. The judge was convinced and said he didn't have to pay for his TV license um, because the, the proof was convincing. He also had a, a line of experts lined up ready to testify on his behalf that the BBC was implicated in spreading mis and disinformation to help conceal the perpetrators of 9-11. Yes, this man, Tony Rook, managed to link uh, TV license payments in the UK with the terrorist activities of the BBC. And of course, um, never far can we get from pedophilia, which he mentions also as being part and parcel. Why should he pay for that, which is another criminal activity in the BBC? He points that out. And beneath the video, the social interaction of the, the barefoot soldiers that want to work unpaid, the infantry volunteers for the criminal overworld are the psychopaths we have off the street who decide to head kick everyone in favour of the video content. Someone called Brett Rogers is the self-appointed vigilante um, um, defending the official government line which is ridiculous that Building 7 fell down all by itself due to a, a furniture fire for goodness sake. How preposterous. Um, yet he's standing there like a good little psychopath um, doing his job um, these people want to enlist desperately want to be part of something greater than themselves really are they're, they're just street people who are psychopaths I'm afraid and so this little video clip uh, I'm bringing to you right now which is just on the colored link appearing on screen just click that it'll take you to the Tony Rook video and um, it's a damn good watch and you see the kind of people that comment underneath it. There's two types. There's head-kicking pseudo-skeptics, psychopaths, and ordinary people who can blatantly see that Building 7 fell down. It wasn't hit by anything, but it fell down due to apparently a furniture fire. So we don't really need to demolish buildings anymore with contractors and cranes and all that, do we? We just use start a furniture fire on the 54th floor. It's obvious, isn't it? That's what the BBC says must be true. So, I'll leave you to enjoy this video with Tony Rook in it, describing how he won over the judge in a Horsham Court. It's a wonderful watch. Uh, cut a link should be on the screen by now. Okay, I'll let you go. Good watching.